Hey everyone, and welcome back. Just wanted to do a short video to uh, to uh, show off this new uh, GK Neo Gallium Cougar Neo 112 cabinet. It's just 30 pounds, but it can handle 400 watts. Has a horn, of course, uh, in the uh, top corner here. But um, as you may know, um, I have a, a Gallium Cougar uh, 1001. RB2. It's the Mark II series uh, base amp. And so, and you also know through my videos if you've watched them that I've got a 410 cabinet uh, which couples with this head. And uh, so I've been using the 410 cabinet, but I've always been wanting to kind of move into something a bit smaller for, you know, to be a little bit more portable for smaller gigs. So I bought this new, um, it's called the Gallian Kruger. Uh, GK um, Neo 112 Series 5, I think, or Mark 5, whatever they call it. But uh, And uh, so anyway, I took ownership of this uh, a few days ago. And I went to hook it up to this amp to give it a try. And sadly, uh, from lack of information, I guess uh, uh, with the music company or my own stupidity, the actual cable that you use with this head here, this Galleon Kruger, is a call a speak on cable, which connects from the head, the back of the head, to the speaker, the 410 cabinet, which is wrapped up here in its uh, protective uh, case. And that's called a SP4. However, this cabinet only has two inputs, basically, and it's also speak on, but it is SP2. So the SP4 does not fit, and so uh, there's my problem, my little quandary that I ran into. I'm unable to use this head at this moment with my regular cable for this cabinet, with this cabinet. So what I had to do was I had to call the music uh, company, uh, Long McQuaid in St. John's, and uh, ask them to send me out a proper cable, which is a SP2 speak on cable. And basically what I need to do is I have to take the full range signal out of this uh, head, not the speak on uh, output, but the full range um, output, and run it into a speak on a, a cable, basically, uh, in the back of this amp. So just a word of warning, if you folks out there are looking to kind of downsize or look for a secondary cabinet for more portability when using these amps, with these base amps, um, the new Neo cabinets are not compatible uh, simply by means of the regular cable, SP4. So you have to have the SP2 cord and that's basically the reason why I wanted to make the video. I'm just going to show you the back of the cabinet. It has handles on the side here, nice durable uh, folding handles here. And I'm looking forward to getting a, a cover for this getting something made up. But I'm going to show you the back of the, the speaker and the back of my amp and show you the situation that I'm now into and how I'm going to fix the problem by going in full range. Okay, as you can see, uh, well maybe you can't see, but I'll try to show you here. Um, back here is uh, the full range output which is just basically quarter inch jacks. However, I've been using with the 410, this biamp situation system here, which is speak on and it's SP4, so it's kind of like a four connection. So this here is always connected and I just run it to the 410 cabinet. However, uh, now I'm going to have to use this here, a one quarter jack with a speak on SP2 on the other end to hook up to this here and as you can see well maybe you can't but if I go to the side I'll try to keep it in, in shot it doesn't connect the SP4 cable is not going to connect so this here has to be the SP2 speak on connection and as you can see there's only two speak on connections on the back of the amp in all fairness to the designer these cabinets were designed for use with the newer um, smaller uh, Galleon Kruger heads. 
fantastic thing about this is like the uh, 410 cabinet that you can control your horn uh, the attenuation of your horn by this uh, dial here point tensiometer whatever you want to call it so this is the um, yeah the Neo 112 5 series and it uh, puts out 400 watts so it's capable of 400 watts it has a neodym speaker in it and uh, and that's pretty well all I need to talk to you about this time around looking forward to getting the proper cable and giving this uh, this speaker a test thanks for watching everyone